and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Lee Sin Zed. That's right, we are going to be playing some Lee Sin today. We do know that Lee Sin is going to be reworked soon, but for now we still have this champion. Um, the, the patch notes, the 1-8 patch notes that talked about the new region coming out did say that, that Lee Sin was going to be getting a rework. It's going to be um, going to actually have like an impact when it hits the board. It'll be um, a lower cost card that you'll play earlier. All sorts of stuff. But for now, we're going to be trying it because Lee Sin with gems does seem pretty interesting. And so that's what we're going to be doing today. There's a lot of cool things that we can do with these gems. I've been pretty impressed with, with them. Uh, but today we're going to be trying it with Lee Sin and Zed. Um, this is a donation deck. These are all donation decks today. That's what the two Ds stand for. The person that donated this deck basically said that, that Zed's going to be our main threat uh, to go along with this stuff. And Lee Sin's kind of here for the ride. Um, but, you know, hopefully we'll have some cool Lee Sin uh, times. We have Whimsy in here. I think Whimsy, Whimsy's a pretty strong card. Um, I like this. I like just playing some Whims Whimsies in the decks. So our interaction, you know, we have Concussive Palm, Whimsy, Will of Ionia. I like that. Uh, let's see. You know, we have our Claws of the Dragon, Eye of the Dragon. Uh, we're going to be trying to play multiple spells a turn. We got some good cyclers now that can uh, replace themselves with Guiding Touch and Pale Cascade, especially Pale Cascade. Great cards that replace themselves. Um, and then we also, at the top end, have Arbiter of the Peak that can come on in here. Um, this is going to be my first time trying Arbiter of the Peak, so I'm, I'm real interested to see how this card plays. All right, so let's let's play some Lee Sin Zed. We got our Lee Sin board. We're gonna go play five games over in ranked, and we'll see how we do. And um, yeah, for the rest of the day, we got some good stuff going on. We got Gangplank Nightfall, which is gonna be like a spooky Gangplank aggro misfortune deck. Should be pretty sweet. Then we got Garen Leona, good Stompy, you know, Demacia, and Daybreak. Um, Daybreak Demacia. And then we got a meme tier deck to play at the end. Big Brain bu br Bubble Bear. I almost said Brother Bear. <laughs> Big Brain Bubble Bear. That'll be a fun one to try out. I feel like... Where's your Twist of Fame? I feel like the... like It was a donation deck from a viewer. A viewer submitted a deck. But I feel like it may be another streamer's deck. I'm not sure. But it may be. I don't know. All right, we'll start with the Eye of the Dragon. Get that two mana back. All right, so that worked out pretty well. They still get... Oh, I should have attacked for one. <laughs> oh, well. Uh, they still get their two abilities with Ezreal. Um, huh. Kind of play this Claw of the Dragon to block. Yeah, I think I'd have to. Let your instinct speak. A little luck for those who need it. Petty Officer is a great one drop to hit. Or sorry, all right, sorry, Pool Shark is a great one drop to hit off of Petty Officer. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. I'll throw up the pieces! You spurn my gift. Strike, we will reform. I 
So of course I can use the Twin Disciplines to save River Shaper, but then they just kill River Shaper with the Mystic Shot. Anyway. Um, I do wish I had one more man. I really wish I could play a new River Shaper and Twin Disciplines. Um, I think I just let this happen and see what card we draw. My plan was... I was thinking they were just going to attack with the Ezreal. So like my plan was to have the Twin Disciplines protect my River Shaper. That was the plan. I guess I'm not playing two spells. Yeah, I guess we're just not gonna play two spells. Water changes but never breaks. Ooh. Had an opportunity for a rummage and didn't use it. Bad for the teeth, though. Wow. Just kills everything. We're gonna deny that one. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to be denying the other. Maybe I just don't need to keep the Eye of the Dragon alive. And I'm thinking like a Mentor of the Stones dies, we get all these gems anyway. opponent has had everything. It's unfortunate. Check me out. Ezreal with, you know, all the awesome removal spells. So I don't need to Concussive Palm the Ezreal, because they can't cast Mystic Shot. Um, we're going to go with another Eye of the Dragon. Be able to get another Draggling. And then miss. Deep Meditation. Whimsy's only followers. We don't get to use that on Ezreal. You know, of course, that's what we would like to do. I'm gonna make all of these threats. They say these were from the protector himself. Clear your head. Let I like that having another pale cascade. The bar. So I wanted to play the two spells first to get that three two in play. Hmm, so no blocks from them. This would then be them going down to 11. So we can make it... We do Pale Cascade, Pale Cascade. Yeah, let's do that. Because that's, that's me gaining this life. Like, that, that life's pretty important to gain. They have all the removal. Alright, we found Lee Sin. What 
We have definitely cast seven plus spells. We're going to need to stun Ezreal to start with. So that's going to cost four mana. Who says I don't share? We'll just do that right now to get a, the three two that can block. Third make it rain. Are you kidding me, man? So I got twin disciplines on the eye of the dragon. Yeah, I gotta do that. Or I could stun another thing and get another three two. Well, let's just do this. Yeah, I mean my my three three is a better blocker. And this this three three brings along the the three three would bring along a draggling for the next turn. Breathe in, breathe out. I know we're dead to a lot of stuff, but we have to. I think we have to keep playing and just hope they don't, you know, like they've played so many spells, hope they don't just continue to have more spells. Um. At the dragon will. I can't go straight to combat. Is meaningless without skill. It's a pleasure to see you, master. Hey, then, you all. All right, Owen one. They had an awesome hand. The, end, the dragon claims us all. Yeah, the, the deny definitely helped us. That would been yeah, it would have been really nice to have another deny. Deny was awesome. Wish we had more. Um, we gotta be. Getting down. I fight with my spirit, not my feet. All right, I have the dragon do some work. This time we'll get our attack for one in. We didn't get that attack for one in last time. Yeah, Nenyo, that one was yours. Um. I can cuss palm's not even a good play here, but I just don't have anything I want to play. I mean, I guess I'll just play this thing. I, you know, obviously we want to get those in for free. I just don't have anything else to do. I mean, I could just play Guiding Touch to draw a card and just see what, see if we find it. You know, I could go like Guiding Touch, Twin Disciplines, and then have some surprise. Uh, claws of the Dragon out here. I don't know. That's not. That's not great. Maybe I should take that damage because I have the Guiding Touch and I just heal myself again. Yeah, I don't know. Like this is this is just a really weird hand. I mean, if my man is going to get wasted anyway, like there's not any reason to not play this card. I assume. 
Yeah, there we go. There's a there's a card we can sit back and protect and attack with. Hey, what's up, noise? I am the blade in the darkness. We know the value of coin. We have ten cards in hand, right? Yeah. I was hoping they would pass also. Get him, Zed. Why does everybody have to have Make It Rain? Is that worth it to use like Twin Disciplines to kill the Astute Academic? But then the problem with that is then I don't have Astute, I don't have Twin Disciplines to protect Zed anymore. Probably is. So basically the main reason why I want to do this is um, I want to cast two spells. Yeah, you know, so this uses like some spell mana. We're gonna guiding touch this thing. Hmm. Now I guess I have to keep. I was planning on playing this and getting two Draglings, like, for blockers, but now I guess I have to keep Deny available. How do they just have every single removal spell in their deck all the time? Breathe in, breathe out. Boys. Always every removal spell. Hmm. Well, I I don't think I win like if they have Riptide Rex, I'm just gonna lose, right? Like the game Riptide Rex, the game's over. So I there's no reason to play around Riptide Rex. I mean, there, I mean, there's there's no way I can play around Red Tide Rex, I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, I'm going to stun this Powder Monkey so it doesn't get to block. Yeah, we, we did get the Zed that game, which was good, but, um, yeah, it didn't really have cheap spells to pair it with. I mean, we had the Guiding Touch. Our deck doesn't have very many cheap spells, I and mean, we have all, like, the gems. Did, you know, didn't have any gems. Um, you know, didn't have Pale Cascade, which Pale Cascade, of course, would have been great. Any of those. I don't really know what to do with this. Do I just keep Claw of the Dragon and Mulligan these things? Guess we're gonna try to just play a whole bunch of three twos. If I know I'm getting a cheap spell, I 
can try to try to keep these Claw of the Dragons and get them in for free. Cool, we can probably do that next turn. Yeah, Pill Cascade is probably one of the top five cards the new set, especially when you're talking about um, non-champion cards. Definitely, yeah, Pill Cascade is so good. I'm glad we have it. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Ah. I wanted them to attack and then I was gonna whimsy. Like they didn't have that the turn before. Alright, no Callista attack, unfortunately. Let's see. I do have a backup Zed too in case something happens to this Zed. Well, it's pretty awesome being able to handle all of that stuff that they had. This um, does help enable my Pale Cascade pretty easily. They're like Vile Feast or whatever on this thing. Yeah, the unspeakable horror. No, folks, this is this is what I do. Hey, dragon. So I'm here every single day. Uh, you know, streaming and then and YouTube. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's worth the five damage. Plus, I want the blocker uh, on on the other side. Callista brings back the four three, and so having a three one blocker is pretty nice. I'll follow your lead. This was a real impressive game from our deck. You know, this this game we had Zed. And then we had, you know, like these Claws of the Dragons that came in for free and stuff. Like, we had a good hand for sure. This is a, was a nice, impressive game. That was the free card they got from Unspeakable Horror. Which I guess the Shades, this Shade Stalker was the other one they got from that card. Oh, okay, because the 4-3, whenever I killed the 4-3, it was a 1-1, one, one, so it so it sees it dying as a 1-1. One, one. Cool. Act free of doubt. I mean, that just saves 8 damage by blocking. I have these things that can reheal Lee Sin. For the teeth, 
Okay, let's see. Let's go. Guiding touch. I will not hold back. Challenger. Go barrier. Conflict is all in the mind. Enter your spirit. We go as one. That's our two spells for our deep meditation. Leeson's at five out of seven, so we'll be leveling up next turn. We'll get all these gems and stuff. This unspeakable horror car has been awesome for them. <laughs> Each one has gotten Shade Stalker, so it's just you just get a two three elusive with unspeakable horror. I mean, that was a good turn for them. They played Wraith Caller, unspeakable horror, and then and Lunar Lunari Shade Stalker. All of those. Okay, let's see. Let's go block, block. I'm not really expecting any more. Conflict is all in the mind. Conflict is all in the mind. I guess I didn't really need to, to put the twin disciplines on the lease in to decide we'd just give a barrier. So I guess I could have gone the Twin Disciplines on the Zed. That should still be fine. Sisters. Want to heal Zed before they, you know, do a Vile Feast on it or something. They've already played all three Unspeakable Horrors. Okay. All right, GG's. Of course, I was just going to do one gem. Yeah, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty sweet. Got to handle all that Shadow Isle stuff pretty good. All right, Arbor of the Peak, I think you're going to go back. And we'll keep Gift Giver, Eye of the Dragon, River Shaper. Um, I wouldn't mind drawing Arbiter of the Peak on, like, turn 5, turn 6, something like that. I <laughs> I didn't finish my sentence. I said I was like, I wouldn't mind drawing Arbiter of the Peak, and then we draw Arbiter of the Peak. And I was like, no, not yet, not yet. Later on in the game, whenever you don't cost very much mana. And it'll be fine. Uh, ow. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Order changes, but never breaks. Croak if you will, burn if you don't. Dang. Like if they go straight to combat, I'm trying to figure out how how's the best way to block with using this gem. Um, like I could put it on the river shaper so that then we can block the three three, but then we can't really block the three two or the two one. Um, if I put it on the 1-2, then it can block the 3-2, but then my River Shaper is not really blocking the 3-3 three, three or the 2-1. And he goes here. life pretty bad let's stun this one Bad. 
They have transfusion. Come on. This is not the way. Make it rain. That's really unlucky. Love ya. Waters are still. That doesn't help. Sapphire, gem of our divine patron. Not all mean well. Breathe in, breathe out. Stop having everything. So obviously I can Twin Disciplines the Draggling. Um, still can't cast Arbiter or anything else. Might as well play this thing first. Okay. Kind of see. Basically I want to play that first and uh, you know maybe see if we get like the, the three twos that can come into play for free. That was the ideal draw. Didn't find any of those. Protector, shield me. Your lesson begins. That puts me to ten. Puts me to nine. Puts me to eight, but I get a draggling. Guess that's, guess that's the best I got. No, I wouldn't really say that Lee Sin made a comeback with this patch. Shouldn't that just go upstairs? I guess not. <laughs> hey, thanks, noise. Who saves the day when you don't know what to play? All right, well let's let's play some Lee Sin, I suppose. Only I can endure the dragon's fury. Because only Lee Sin can endure the dragon's fury. I should level up Lee Sin. So we'll be able to get rid of Misfortune. Or I could bounce Gangplank. We need to get rid of Misfortune. Just never stops. <laughs> Hocked out with my PhD in runeology. That is right. Uh, this could be better. Um, yep, this could be better. All right, one and three. Yeah, that game that game was over once they played the game. Like when they they curved out perfectly like that into Gangplank, the, the game was over at that point. Well, mentor the stones is cool, but I have nothing to uh, mentor yet. Nothing yet to mentor. Cause we're gonna draw Zed. Yeah. And we have the attack token turn four. Nothing escapes my. Okay. 
Okay, going good for us so far. I mean, not so good with them having like their 1-1 drop, their 1-2 drop, that kind of stuff. But good for us in the... We'll have like Mentor the Stones into Zed aspect with double pill cascade to protect. Looking into the future, I see. Alright, so we don't get to don't get to protect the mentor of the stones as well. No, we'll just save the mana. We'll just save the mana. Because it doesn't heal the the Zed anymore, right? Like, the Zed's still going to have two health right here. It doesn't, doesn't give it any more... Good. Twin Disciplines is good, because that protects against... Uh, basically, I'm, I'm worried about... Uh, I was worried about Grasp of the Undying, and so Twin Disciplines is perfect. Awesome. So one to find. Alright, so we'll be able to level up Zed. Likely. I mean, I guess they could have another... Grasp of the Undying... Would be unfortunate. The dragon remembers. I got meat bigger than you. I could definitely see them playing um, Anivia this turn. Right, it's like if they play Anivia this turn, I just bounce Anivia. This is just zombie Anivia. I do not want them to use a one damage spell. These jewels are more than mere trinkets. Lots of two mana one damage spells in Shadow Isles. Some of the five mana challenger dragon. We haven't played enough of that card. Bounce that. Will of Ionia still here? Um, let's just go with a gem over here. Put the three two into play. What do they got? Can whimsy this thing. It's gonna die anyway. Just spend four mana to draw a card with that whimsy. So this should be the last turn anyway, so like that that card, you know, like that card could save us. Never know. I mean, I don't know what they're gonna have for one mana anyway. But we get to actually cast whimsy and see this cool little squirrel. So they're gonna gain six life from Withering Whale. Take nineteen. Living Shadow should still be just a three-two. Like I don't think the Living Shadow would be, you know, like a seven-three if I if we cast Shadow Shift. They will all learn to feel my okay, so two-three, respectable. 
Respectable 2-3. With our Lee Sin Zed deck. Definitely got to do some powerful stuff. Claws of the Dragon looked pretty great. But both Guiding Touch and Pale Cascade were awesome. Um, whenever, you know, gems were really good. Whenever we had the gems. I kind of want a third Gift Giver because the gems were very good. Um, Twin Disciplines was great. Happiness Protect the Zed. The Deny was really good also. Um, Whimsy was a little... Was actually kind of underperformed, I think. Because Whimsy, you know, can't deal with champions... I think it kind of underperformed a little bit. Concussive Palm was was pretty, eh, all right, but not special. Will of Ionia, pretty decent. Will of Ionia was good, <clears throat> but there's not like great interaction. Um, I don't know if like instead of whimsy of spending two two more mana for something like Sunburst to be able to have like a, a hard removal spell. Like maybe that's maybe that's where this should go instead of whimsy. I know the whimsy can be a you know a good way to protect Zed at times from a a large um, and you know it's good against like large followers, but with it not dealing with uh, not dealing with champions at all, we don't really have anything to deal with champions. Will of Ionia is already good against large followers. Same with Concussive Palm. Maybe that should be Sunburst. Um, yeah, the, the burst speed is nice, of course. It, it is nice having burst speed. Definitely. And, and so that's what I'm not saying, like, for sure, should definitely be sunburst, but just, but maybe that's something to kind of keep in mind. Um, I could definitely see this, definitely could see retreat return being pretty nice, too. I do, you know, like, we have, like, good three draw, like, we have good twos and threes for return. Like, this is a, a definitely a good return deck, you know, with Mentor the Stone Zed and stuff like that. And I, I could see retreat kind of working out with Mentor the Stones anyway. Like, you support, they block Mentor, you put it back in your hand, are able to replay it. Or, you know, just another way to protect Zed and stuff like that. Obviously, it does reset Zed, but... Um, you can, like, pick Claw of the Dragon up, put a Zed that you have in your hand into play, and Claw of the Dragon goes back into play. Which is something cool. I don't know. Could see Retreat... Return being in here also, potentially. Um, we haven't, didn't really get to do anything with Arbiter of the Peak. Definitely feel like Retreat Return would help Arbiter of the Peak. Uh, we only had Arbiter like one game early on, and, and we that was a game that we kind of got ran over, and, and Arbiter was too expensive. Like we were na never able to cast Arbiter even like turn six. It still cost seven mana. Um without because we you know we didn't have gems if you don't have gems the arbiter is going to be pretty tough to play um cheaply uh but there we go so there's lee sin zed those y'all watching later on youtube hit that like button of course and let me know what you think of lee sin anything else leave those comments i would really appreciate those but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video